Brevin Campbell writes, why does every one movie need an opening credit scene and an ending credits? Can we just have one or the other? I sometimes find it annoying. There are a few films that can do it well, like Batman v Superman, but most like Focus, Hatefully, and 50 Days of Summer make it annoying. Uh, I think he meant 500 Days of Summer. Mm. Um, I... It's, it's an old school thing. I mean, all the old movies have opening credits and you have to have end credits. I mean, it's not one or the other. You can't have just opening credits because they only list like all the main actors, yeah. the directors, the producers. All, there's a bunch of other people that work on movies, so there's no way end credits are going away. Opening credits, it, it's up to the director and the studio whether they want to have them or not. I personally don't mind them. Christian? Opening credits, best opening credits of all time were Deadpool. Oh, yeah. Uh, of all time. Oh, but, yeah. but you have to. They're never going away because that's how people get their do from working on the movies and working hard, especially when you go to like these premieres or if you go, people who work, they sit there, they watch the credits because they want to see the acknowledgement. You know, it's like even, even the best boy. He'll go and he'll watch and go. Oh, and best boy me. too. And the best boy too. They, and they, they get excited to see their names and they should for all the hard work that they put into the movie. They have credit in that film. Um, now, I understand where some people have the problems with the Tarantino's movies where he does it. He's doing an homage to the old films yeah. the way that they used to do it. And if you watch some of those old films, it's painful. Ooh. Like, it's painful when they start those credits and it's just like, for it takes you like five minutes before you're in the movie and it's just title cards title cards and that's why they stopped doing that because it brought a halt but i actually like when tarantino does it because it's just like a nice throwback mm -hmm. you don't see it all the time i couldn't deal with it it was every movie because you go back and you watch some classics and when they do it it's just like yeah or even though some of the it's old disney movies like, well, they, they, the they, jungle they book the by score, the way yeah. and then yeah. they have just a, and it and they, you know, back then, like, it's not like a few seconds. They leave it on there for forever. A long That's time. right. Well, because right. it's like, 19 names on one title card. Yeah. Like, and the music just kind of blasting in there. And, it's yeah. like fine. and then it finally fades in. You're like, okay, it, it's essentially the end credits. That's what right. they did. They pushed it to the back. So I, you'll never see the end credits go away because that's how people uh, get their credit. Josh? I think one of the best end credits is super bad. With all the drawings of the dicks. Oh, all right, all right. I don't, I, <laughs> now we know where your mind's at. Come on, it's pretty funny. Uh, I don't, I don't have a problem with opening credits. Usually, they're just kind of like at the bottom or something, mm -hmm. and then and they or they'll cold open and then go into some credits, which I don't, I don't really care. But I think the hard part is the end credits. So many movies now, I sit and I wait to see if there's an end credit scene. So you have to sit through all like Best Boy Two, Best Boy Grip, right. Grips Buddy, Alex. Um, you. You have to sit through all that. So could they shorten the end credits a little bit? Maybe, but you're you can't get rid of them. Yeah, what are you what are you gonna shorten them with? Though? I, I mean, you're like, oh, hey, by the font. No, by the way, you worked on this movie, but nah, you don't get a credit. Yeah. you're not important enough. And, you know? Two yeah. columns of credits. Alex is retired. Oh, Alex retired. Yeah. Yeah. Hey guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.